so um, as you can see I've taken all the beads off the wire um, the wire was basically um, all damaged and um, all the way through and um, a bit rusty um, and also the end was um, not too bad um, but I won't reuse the end anyway um, I will put a new a new clasp on it um, as you can see with these um, they were all rusted, um, so tarnished, rusted, um, so they're no good either. Also the beads um, are not too bad. Um, this one I love, it's like a, um, like a bird egg. I don't know if you can see the light's bad today. Um, it's like a duck egg. Um, I will put a picture up in the corner um, to show you um, the pattern on that, it's lovely. Um, and also these as well. They're also, um, oh, I'm going to drop them. Um, also as well, they're lovely colours, um, sort of like a jasper pattern. Um, they are glass um, as well. And then there's two glass black beads, um, which are, I think, are around a 14 millimetre, which is nice. And obviously, you know, the, the green and the, the little bits and pieces there. Um, the other one is this one. Um, it's actually... Um, it's a lovely colour, it shines um, yellow in the light and a bit of pink, um, but as you can see through the middle, it's um, uh, where the head pin has been, it's all um, rusted inside. Um, so what I normally do is I normally throw these into some washing up liquid and I just soak them overnight and you know, it's just to give them a, a thorough clean and then I Give them about three days to um, actually dry before I can use do anything with them or make anything so um, I will carry on now and um, take something else apart as you can see this is a um, double strand necklace and um, I've just taken some, some beads off um, with this one it was just basically um, all the string was, was you know totally um, frayed and, and old um, so I'll take the other strand off and um, this I will throw away as well so um, these will need a good clean um, as you can see that the ends where the holes are are, are pretty um, manky um, I will sort through them I will wash them first sort through them and see you know what they're like after um, there are some that have um, you know the holes are pretty dirty as well um i can't really clean right inside sometimes so um i just soak them overnight in warm um washing up liquid um i don't put a lot of washing up liquid in it's just enough to sort of loosen any dirt um because i obviously don't want them too soapy and uh, then i have to rinse them three or four times um and then i lay them out on um kitchen tissue or, or paper towel and um yeah, and then let them dry over three days. I don't know how old this necklace is. It's, you know, um, I find all sorts in charity shops. So, um, and as you can see, um, you know, it's pretty worn down. You know, the string is pretty disgusting. So that can go in the bin as well. Um, so yeah, so they will be washed. This one is um, made on string where it um, has uh, knots in between each bead. Um, so um, it's gonna take a while to literally cut each individual, um, you know, string. Um, so I'll come back when that's done. There we go, a um, bit of a tedious job, but it's all done now. Um, oh, looks like I've missed one. Um, so so yeah, these, these beads are actually quite nice. Um, these ones are, um, I think it's another one I've missed, <laughs> there's two I've missed, maybe three. Okay, um, so so yeah, these ones are um, sort of like a lilac purple, they're glass. I will take off all of these. I've also now got a string all over my bits of, uh, all over my bead mat, so I'll clean that all off, put all these in a bag, um, ready for washing. This one is, is really lovely. Um, they're uh, Rondales, I think they're six by five. Actually quite cute, um, in good condition. Um, so I can maybe reuse those. 
um, because they're metal I have to be careful with when I wash them that they don't rust after they have to be dried pretty quick sometimes I use, just use a hair dryer and then just leave them to dry um, there's another divider there which will probably go in the bin um, but there are a lot of beads on here um, I'm going to be using this for all these beads for a some cluster necklaces um, and maybe just adding to strands of, of, um, of beads for my necklaces so um, they will be used for something but they will need a wash first so yeah that's all done um, they are a gorgeous um, gold and um, they're faceted uh, fire polished as well um, really lovely um, there are quite a few here so I'm gonna give them a good wash um, see how we get on um, as you can see closer up with the shine on them they're very shiny um, so um, I don't know if you can see there's like I think there's one 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 two three four there's five holes so you could I could do another five strand um, bracelet or, or necklace and there are one two three four there's five of those so I can I can do that later what I do is I put all the beads into a bag um, I buy um, just normal sort of sandwich bags <clears throat> just to put the beads into until I've decided which ones I'm actually going to keep and then wash them sandwich bags that I use are literally just these they're from spa you can buy bags anyway and get them from Sainsbury's you can B and M pound shop. P pound shop might be a good good choice. You probably get about a hundred in there. Um, but yeah, just just a normal um, sandwich bag, just to put them in. And then, um, but now I'll show you um, what I do with the beads. Okay, so I have my um, water. It's literally um, you know a small container. But all I do literally is just tip them, <laughs> tip them into the water, um, give them a little shake. Um, I'm going to soak these on their own, I think, um, because then I'm definitely going to be using these ones. So um, these will have a soak overnight. The water is, is warmer than I'd normally do it. Um, go on, give them a good, good clean. Um, and then probably in a few, every couple of hours, I give it a shake or give it a stir and then um, sort of releases a bit more dirt or debris off them. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video and um, I will be uploading again soon. Like and subscribe to this video and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.